hey, are you working or sleeping? Wake up. My buddy's hand is busted. Fix it for him. What's this? Hey, what is this? What's going on? One of them has an injured hand, all right? I need to get it wrapped. Please take a number first, okay? What for? Can't you see he's bleeding? We're already wasting time. If he dies, whose fault is this, is it? Whose fault is it? You have to get a number and fill out a form for the system. After that, the doctor can give you what tests you need. Don't worry, it won't get in the way of his treatment. Please go get a number. Thank you. <laughs> is he your man? I'm also. Are you looking for trouble? Okay. Let's just go get a number. It's just five bucks, right? Come on, why don't you give him an IV drip or something? Him? Yeah, follow me. Okay, this is fine now. But don't get it wet, all right? It uh, might get infected. Thank you, nurse. I can't believe we're here. This place is for people who are dying. <laughs> you too. Please wait outside. This is the ER. It's for patients with urgent conditions. You might get infected. Who even cares if we're out here? Huh? Who are we bothering? Didn't I just tell you? You might get infected. Who are you talking to? You're saying we're sick? Who are you saying is sick? Are you saying we're sick? Come on, say it again. I dare you. Go them Stop them. it. <laughs> What's this? Hey, let it go! Come on, man! Uh, hey. What's this? What's this? Stop what it! The... Stop it, okay? I just got bandaged up and you're fighting with the doctors? What's hey. the problem with you guys? Hands off, let's man. go, let's go! Come on. I'll go with them. I'll make sure they don't cause any trouble. I never realized it, but Chang Shang's got mad skills. But will he be fine by himself? Hey! No way. I'm not letting this go. Hey, huh? hey, 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 Those are not just mad skills. He's a kung fu master. That's so cool. Hey, man, come on, come on. Sorry for what they did. We're really sorry. Come on, let's go. Come on. Something wrong? Hey, nurse! Nurse! Mr. I'll be back. Nurse! Uh, nurse! What is it? Dr. Show, my stomach's hurting again. Can you please, can you please call Dr. Ouyang for me? Tell me the truth. Does it really hurt? Are you really in pain? I am. Dr. Oyoung's out already. If you're really in pain, I'll get the doctor on duty. Hey! The other doctors, they cannot fix this. Of course they can't. If you really like Oyoung, that's your own problem and no one can help you. But don't bring your problems here. This is a hospital. We save lives. Do you even know how hard it is to get a bed here? How little space there is in the ER? You're perfectly fine in taking up space. Do you know how many people can't get in? Just think about it.
doing here? Watching you practice. What's there to watch? I guess now I know. Hey, you never told me you were so good at Kung Fu. <laughs> I learned at Shaolin when I was a kid. Why? What is it? Are you actually surprised? I'm completely stunned. Hey, what's that you have there? It smells really good. You've got a good nose, too. Here. It's for me? Mm, not really. It's for the nurse we have on duty now. But since you saw it already, I'll give you some. I'll have to pass. You know they work so hard, so I can't accept this. Just take it. I'll go get more. Don't worry. Oh, I will then. Mm. Hey, you should have some too. You'll get more anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I have some hand wipes here. Wipe your hands first. Here you go. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Morning. So, how's what's-his-face? Don't worry about him. Ouyang didn't even look at him twice. It's not that. I meant his condition. His condition? How else could it be? When we're there, he starts yelling. And when we're not, he's fine. Well, we can't keep him here forever. Director Zhang won't let us kick him out. Any ideas? Let me try. Hmm. Huh. Morning. Morning. Dr. Shen. How is he? Oh. Uh, that's cold. You seem uh, fine. Time uh, to go home. Uh, uh, I can't. My stomach really does hurt. Uh, how about this? Why don't you go call Dr. Ouyang for help? Uh, Do you know who I am? Uh, uh, no. I'm Dr. Ouyang's boyfriend. Really? Yes. Ask any of the doctors and nurses here. They all know. Feeling better? <laughs> uh, 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 no, no. Uh, I'm in pain. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, seriously, I want to. Dr. Dr. Ouyang, call her over here, please. If you really want to see Dr. Ouyang, I'll get her. But if there's nothing wrong uh, with you, please uh, leave. Uh, this space, we need it. Uh, it really hurts. Uh, uh, Ouyang, come here, please. What? You're the popular one. He wants to talk to you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Dr. Ouyang, you're really hard to meet with. <laughs> you're faking this just to see me, right? Okay. Say what you have to say. Go on. I'm waiting. I'm in pain. I'm not lying. It really does hurt. Juka, I'm telling you. You have to leave the hospital. You can't fake an illness to stay here. That isn't fair, you know. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Fine. Then stay. <sighs> Dr. Ouyang! Dr. Ouyang! <sighs> Mom, you introduced him to me. Take care of him. Get him out of here. This is a misunderstanding. I really am sick. Give him a shot, for the pain. My mom's on her way. You can tell her what you want to say. Let's go. Ignore him. If I were you, I'd be long gone. Oh, uh, Dr. Zhou! Can you stay with me? I'm glad we can finally check out. Oh, hi, is Ouyang here? Dr. Ouyang? Yes. Yes, and you're... Auntie, it's you. You looking for Ouyang? 
Dr. Chong, <laughs> it's been a while. Is Ouyang around? Oh, Ouyang? She's busy. How about... Don't wait here. Come to the office. We've got everything there. Tea, coffee, milk, juice, water, everything. Oh, all right then. There you go. You're always welcome here. Hey, just think of this as your home, all right? No, that doesn't sound right. Right, forget that. Don't think of this as your home at all. After all, this is a hospital. Yes, all right, all right. I know what you mean. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right, we can chat on the way. Hey, when you see Ouyang, tell her that she's here and send her over, okay? Of course. Anzi, this way, please. Okay. Anzi, mm. here, have some tea. Sure, thank you. Careful, it's hot. I heard Ouyang has a boyfriend. Tell me, is it true? Uh, Auntie, yes, it's true. And it's you, right? <sighs> you kids these days. If you and Ouyang are together, you really should at least come and tell me you know. No, no. Auntie, your, your daughter does have a boyfriend. But it's not me. It's not you. Then who is it? Uh, can you tell me, please, who she's with now? Uh, oh, he's another doctor here. Better than me. Mom! Oh, your daughter's here. You two chat. Well, I've got to get back. Well, good day. Good day. Mom, look at what you've done. Jinka's caused a lot of trouble. Why? Where is he? He was too embarrassed to see you, Mom. He left. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me sooner that you had a boyfriend? I told you that, but you didn't believe me. Oh, okay. Well, now I believe you. Uh, Chung told me earlier. He's a good guy. Call your boyfriend over, so we can meet now. Uh, all right, I'll give him a call. Ah, relax, will you? It's the first time you'll meet. You have to be calm. I am kind of nervous. Don't be. Oh, Young's mom? She's nice. Really? Thanks. Relax! Introduce you, Sheng Ching Chuan, my mom. Hello, Auntie. Oh, hello. Hey, that looks really good. Not bad. At the state he's attained, he's not troubled with worldly matters. He can use his powerful will to create a peaceful place in this cruel world to turn hell into a heaven. It's not that crazy. You don't feel crappy at all? Xiao Chen, how could he not? But Dr. Cheng has a big heart. He can turn pain into happiness. Mm, you didn't let me eat or what? Exactly. Stop talking. Eat, eat, eat. Come on. Dr. Cheng? Mm. I have a suggestion. Mm. How about I be your girlfriend? <coughs> <coughs> hey, what's wrong? You? Dr. Chung, I don't have a boyfriend, and you don't have a girlfriend, and I like you. Of course, I don't know if you like me or not, but if you do, why can't we be together? What's the problem? It's normal. What are you laughing at? <laughs> All right, I guess I'm just dumb. Forget I said it. Stop laughing! Uh, Ching Chuan, I'm going to see my mother out. You can go back. Okay, I'll go. Auntie, I'll go visit you and Uncle next time. Okay, sounds good. Great, I'll go now. Goodbye. Lulu, walk with me, okay? Let's go. So, are you happy? Yes, I am. He's good looking, has a good personality, and from a good family as well. His skills go without saying. And he's polite, cultured. So I know you can't really go wrong there. Most importantly, he has to be good to you. He came all the way back from the US. Did you ask him to do it? Don't worry about that, Mom. I won't. I won't be worried. Not anymore, Lulu. Mom? I want to talk to you about something. What is it? What his family wants is for us to go to the U.S. together. What is that? The United States? That is out of the question. It's a matter of principles. 
What year is it, Mom? You're living in the past. It's for your own good. If you're overseas by yourself, without a single family member. If you two fight, you'll have no one on your side. And if you get a divorce, you won't even have a place to live in. Think on the positive side. You have to be prepared for anything. It's called life experience, understood? I'm an adult now. I have experience too. I know what to do, so stop worrying, Mom, okay? No, no. You're not through life yet. Don't get ahead of yourself, dear. Mom, do you not approve of us? No, I didn't say that. It's just that Shen King Xuan is an ambitious man, and so are you, my darling. Not that it's bad. I just think that... If you're together there, it will be quite tough for you because it's a foreign place. I still have my doubts because it's so far away. But I think that... That Shengzhen fellow is also good for you, right? He's reliable, responsible. You two can live a normal life together right here. Mom, Jing Chuan and I are already together. What are you mentioning Cheng Jun for? What do you want from me? That I break up with Cheng Xuan and be with Cheng Jun? Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Mom... All right, we're getting off topic. If you and Shang King Xuan are together, I don't object. But what I don't approve of is you going to the U.S. If you want to go and leave me here, then so be it. There's nothing I can do. Of course, I won't just leave you behind, Mom. All right, then. Then you two discuss it. That's it. You go to work, and I'll head home. Fine, I'll take you to your... Right. Take care, Mom. You too. Mr. Zhang, please drive carefully. Oh, really, man. Come on, get your butt in here. No way. If you don't, you'll die. Too bad. Uh, Too bad for no. you. You have to go. I don't want to go. Come on, let's <laughs> sir, get out of here. Sir, excuse me. You're not feeling well? No, no. We're just, uh, we were just looking around. What's there to see here? <laughs> Hello, we're here to see a doctor. He has a boil on his rear, and it's in very bad shape. He can barely walk. It's really too big. Wait, you have a boil? You can tell me. I'm a doctor. I might be able to help. Wait, you're really a doctor? Yes, I'm an intern doctor. I'm begging you. You have to help him. If not, he'll die, but we don't have money. Just take a look. Please, I beg you. Come on. Let's go <laughs> doctor, home. Doctor, please. Come on, don't. let's go. Seriously. No. Let's go. Wait a minute. Okay. Feeling better? Oh, much better. Thank you. Uh, don't thank us. It's our job. Cheng Sheng, Cheng Sheng, you busy? What's up? Can you give me a hand? Oh, sure. Come on. Take this. Thanks. Where? What's going on here? Whoa. What happened to that? Cheng Shao, this is a test of your morals and conscience. Help me think what we can do to treat this without them spending money. Well, first, disinfect. Disinfection alone won't do. We'd have to drain an anti-inflame. And looking like this once won't be enough. Drainage is a form of minor surgery, and you cannot give prescriptions. That's okay. I can do drainage. Sir, you see, we can't treat this with medicine alone. We'll have to do a little surgery. Huh? We're gonna need some more. I'll go get it. Go now. While there's no one in the supply room. Don't get caught, okay? Okay. Thanks, man! Zheng Oh, uh, wrong, wrong. What are you doing? Oh, uh... Uh, Dr. Wang asked me to get some stuff. He needs it right away. I have to go.
Changsheng, what are you really doing? What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't they collect bottles in our parking lot? What are they doing here? Uh, you see, Rong Rong, this man has a serious boil. We're trying to disinfect it. Now I know that you are a nice person, so just pretend you didn't see. All right then, but you better hurry, okay? I'll watch the door for you, all right? <laughs> Thank you, you're really such a sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to go? What is it? Were you worried about me? Your mother's opinion is important to me. What's wrong? She didn't agree? She didn't like me? No, my mom thinks you're great. But she doesn't want me to go to the U.S. She says it's a matter of principle. What should we do then? It's your choice. We can stay. But if you want to go, we'll go. The decision is all up to you. Really. Is that so? Of course. Then, let me think about it. Hmm. Let's go. Sir, when you get home, make sure to wash your clothes. Don't get it infected. Three days from now, uh, come and see me. I'll give you some new meds. Uh, uh, thank you, doctor. Doctor, how much was it? Nothing. Don't worry about it. N nothing, really? I said nothing and I mean it. Stop worrying, okay? I'll cover it. It's all right. Uh, that, uh, thank, you, thank you, doctor, doctor. so much. <laughs> Don't worry about it, really. Hey, are you guys done? Anyone outside? No, but I'll take them outside for you. Okay, okay. Go on, get some rest. Uh, take thank care. you, doctor. Uh -huh. Bye, uh, take care. You. Bye, bye bye. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> thank All you right. so much. Thank mm. you. Hey, you make it sound so easy. Now tell me, how can you not charge anything? When all of these came from the inventory. These are all inventory. I'll give them money. You'll cover it? Yeah. I've already decided. I'll spot them the money, then I'll get Dr. Chung to fill out a prescription. <laughs> well, you got it all planned out. That's no big deal. I may not be good at much, but even I can deal with a simple boil. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're becoming a really good doctor. No, I don't want to be a good doctor. I was just helping them. That's what makes a good doctor. At least for me, that is. Thank you, Nurse Lin, for taking care of Junjun all these years. I didn't do anything. Shang Jun takes care of himself. He's independent. <laughs> you don't have to stand up for him. I know what he's like. Since he was a child, he was always the troublemaker. When he first graduated, he was a pain. The past few years, he's been better. More and more like his dad. That's good. I heard the nurses say the girl Cheng Jun likes. That Dr. Ouyang is with someone else, is that true? I can't do anything about that. Right. With this kind of thing, no one can really do anything. All those years ago, I wanted to help you. But then Min Yi chose Yan Fei. Auntie. Let's not talk about that. I have to. I don't have much time left. Before I leave this life, I want you to be together. <laughs> Auntie, you already know that Mingyi is very sensitive. Yanfei's been gone for so many years, but he still hasn't recovered. If it weren't for that, he wouldn't have left you and Shangjun to go to Africa. Well, you haven't recovered either. Ever since he and Yanfei got married, how long has it been? You've been all alone. Can you say you're not waiting for him? The way I am now, Mingyi will come back for sure. When he does, and if you don't say anything, I will. Grandma! Auntie, that's enough. Shangjun's here. Grandma! <laughs> Hey, hey. Oh. It's so windy. What are you doing out here? I just wanted to get some air. Oh. 
Well, how are you doing? Fine, fine. Are you off work? Once again? Oh, well, of course. Why do you have to work such long hours? I can't get my head around it. <laughs> oh, Grandma. The hospital's a busy place, Grandma. But I'm right here now, now aren't I? <laughs> Shang Jun, your father called me just now. He asked about her surgery. He said that he recommends we do it. Grandma, I just talked to the doctor in charge of the bed. So what do you think about surgery? Come on, it's your call. To tell you the truth, I didn't really want to do it. But just now, Lin told me I should. I've been thinking about it, and maybe I will do it. You all say I should, right? Grandma, whether you do it, it's up to you. If you don't want to, we can wait. It's fine. Why can't people just not get sick? All right, then. If you think that it can be done, let's do it. Let's get more time. Great. There's still lots I want to do. I want to live my life to the fullest. Look at you. Let's head back now. Yeah, too windy. Let me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when it's windy like this, no more coming outside, okay? <laughs> In most cases, it's the woman who loves the man more than anything. But you're the other way around. Hmm? My son loves you more than anything. Uh, Mom, that's Uyang's mom's opinion, not Uyang's. Then can't you tell the truth to your own mother? The parents' opinion is not always right. As children, you have to persuade us accordingly. You're right, Mom. That's why I'm here right now trying to persuade you. What are you persuading me for? What did I say that was wrong? My mom isn't wrong either. Ching Chuan, since you said it's up to me, then we're not going. It's the children's job to always protect their parents. But have you ever thought, the more you protect your parents, the more you choose to trap yourself here? If you stay here, you're obedient. Your mother will be happy. But Chuan isn't obedient. And I'm not happy about that. If you go to the U.S., I'm happy, but your mom isn't. Now what? Neither of us will be happy then. What else is there for you to do? In my opinion, I think you both are making the wrong decision. So what matters more here? I think that you both should rethink your relationship. Mom, don't rush into things. Let's think about this some more. There must be a good solution. Right, Uya? Right, let's talk. All right, I'll leave you alone and give you two some time. I just hope that you can think of a way to make everyone happy. All right, I'm tired. I'm going up. Don't worry. Nurse Wang. Yes? Remember to give number seven new meds. Don't forget, okay? Right, I got it. Miss Lin. Did you take your grandma back? Yeah, she's sleeping, finally. Oh. <laughs> hey, Miss Lin, you know my dad? Why did he call you about the surgery? I've known him for years. We were just like you and Ouyang. Oh, no. Just like Zhao Chong, Ai Zhao Chan, and Zhu Yimang. Just like them. Oh, I see. My dad's never mentioned it. You've known each other for so long. Why didn't you ever say anything? Oh, why bother bringing up old memories? <laughs> uh, it's getting late now. I've got plans. I'll see you later. All right. Hey, Rong Rong. You're still here. The next nurse isn't here yet. I'll leave in a bit. What's wrong with your phone? I think that drunk guy broke it. He knocked it on the ground and it hasn't worked since. This is a really old model, you know. Go get a new one. I wish I could. You buy me one. Oh, sure. What brand do you want? You're kidding me, right? I'm being serious. Who do you think you are? 
Why would you buy me a phone? Do you want me to be your girlfriend or something? Well, if you think it's okay, then I'd like that a lot. If you really buy me a new phone, then I'll really be your girlfriend. Okay, deal. So, what brand do you want? I want this one. The best, newest, and most expensive. Buy it for me. You got that? Dr. Chung, we'll be heading in now. Sure. Grandma, this is as far as we go. After you go in, don't be afraid. Do you understand, huh? This is an easy surgery. It's just minimally invasive. You'll be fine soon. The doctor doing it is very experienced, an authority in this area. Grandpa and I will wait outside, okay? Darling, listen to the doctor. Don't be afraid. I'll be outside. Grandpa, what if... How about I wait here? You go back to the room. That's okay. I'll wait here with you. Nurse Chan, I have to go out for a minute. Is that all right? Okay, don't take too long. Mm. La 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 Well, I said I'd keep surprising you. Where did you get the money for this? It doesn't matter. Do you like it? I don't like it. Take it back. Yesterday, didn't you say that if I bought you a phone, you would be my girlfriend? So what? What do you mean you don't like it? Do you mean the phone, or do you mean me? So stupid. So stupid. If I liked you, even if you didn't buy me a phone, I'd still be your girlfriend anyway. If I didn't like you, buying me a hundred phones would be no use. Huh? So do you like me, or don't you? Which one is it really? Uh... You haven't said if you liked me either. Why should I go first? <laughs> but I do. <sighs> wrong, wrong. I really, really, really do like you. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. How can you do that? I'm not saying anything. Well, you don't have to. I know the answer anyway. You're a jerk. I can't believe you would do this to me. <laughs> my mom says my dad is a jerk. My dad says, a jerk is someone that you like so much it jerks you to tears. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> it's looking good today. Very stable. How much urine? Uh, huh? huh? What? Uh, what is it? Huge news. What huge news? Chang Sheng's family is rich. Really? Yes, I saw it myself. He gave Rong Rong a new cell phone. It's a new model, really expensive. So if his family weren't rich, how could he afford it on his salary? Why would he buy Rong Rong a phone? Why do you think? Could it be? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, good. You're all here. Go receive a patient. Chen Li, notify Dr. Wang. Severe trauma patient. Got it. Follow me. There's a severe trauma case. Head nurse Lee wants to inform you. staring at what what is it let me see dr wang what yeah. should we do on the stretcher don't move him we have to watch out for those bars take it straight down all right yes, doctor. you have to be careful now you gotta help easy, him easy these bars are too steady, body ready steady put the head this way all right easy this now way. help him doctor right turn you gotta help him. turn all right okay yes yeah, step aside, aside. Please, move. yeah 
Can you tell me how this happened? We worked together. He fell off a tall platform into a pile of bars. We called an ambulance right away. Take him in. Okay. Everybody be careful. Three steel bars through his body. Director Ma, what do we do? Open an IV channel first, then increase the drip. Okay. Speed. Blood pressure 80 over 60. Wang Bong, contact Director Zhang. Prepare emergency procedures, notify anesthesiology, and prep an endotracheal. He's lost a lot of blood, so get a blood recovery machine. Hello. Director Zhang, please come quickly. There's a worker here, impaled by three steel bars, and we don't know what to do. What is it? Severe trauma in the ER. What? Uh, Jun, wait! Oh, Grandpa, I'm afraid there's a patient in the ER. I have to go take a look. Uh, uh. Uh, Bo, don't move him just yet. Two of the bars have penetrated very deeply, so there. Dr. Ma, we should get an x-ray first. You're chief resident. You decide the procedure. Shang Zhen, open up his clothes. Got it. Please tell me how it happened. The patient is a construction worker. He fell from a platform onto a pile of steel bars. He was penetrated by three of them. He's conscious, but his blood pressure is low. I think we should do an extracardial diagnosis on him first, then prepare a joint procedure. His situation's too complicated. With such low blood pressure, he'd have lost at least 500 ml. We must use a recovery machine. We should act quickly before we lose his life. Contact medical services. Do as he said. Doctor, why is his stomach swelling? It might be hypovolemia, shock due to blood loss. Increase saline trip speed. Get a blood sample. Test it. Match it. And then get sonography. Got it. Dr. Zeng. Director Liu. What's going on? Take a look at the situation. Heart rate is at 110. Blood oxygen levels at 85%. Blood pressure is now 70 over 40. You see, these three bars pierce through the back. This bar goes directly through the armpit. This one in the buttocks has almost exited the opposite side. You can feel the end under the skin. The bar that went through the waist, we can't feel the tip. So we don't know how far it's in. Director Zhang, the chief residents from the general and cardiac departments are here. Good. You go outside. Okay. And the interns? Make sure the bars are stable. Our priority now is to remove the protruding bars. This position is not conducive to surgery or moving him. It's too dangerous. I've looked at his stats. I believe that the bar in the waist shouldn't be removed. The damage caused by this bar to his organs will determine how he recovers. Since we don't know how far it went in, the vibrations caused when cutting might damage the surrounding organs. Should we break any blood vessels, there will be nothing we can do. So my suggestion is we take him to surgery. That way, it will be safer for all of us. Very well, do it. I think that you're right. Let's do as you say. We all agree. Then how should we remove the bars? Anyone got ideas? What should we use to remove them then? Dr. Zhang, steel jaw, saw, electric torch. Among these, which do you think is best? Well, we tried all of those. Electric torch has sparks. Steel jaw has friction. And saws have vibration. We use these things for a living. Dr. Zhang, how about hydraulic pliers, the kind the of fire department uses? During that car accident, I tried using them. They have even pressure, minimal vibration, and the speed can be controlled. That's it. You all know what to do.
Love forever. 